Well, welcome back. Imagine sharing dinner and wine with the very person who made the wine on the menu. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Well, that's exactly what you're going to be able to do at two of Foxcroft Wine Company's upcoming events. Joining us this morning is James Alford from Foxcroft Wine Company, and here to tell us all about this uh, wine dinner. And it's going to be with Robert Foley, correct? Correct. Uh, Robert Foley, who has been uh, making wine, uh, working in uh, wine in Napa Valley for over 40 years now, actually. Uh, he had a hand in both working with and launching some really legendary pro uh, projects out there, everything from Height Cellars to Pride Mountain, Markham, uh, a lot of names that are very familiar to people. But mm -hmm. for the last 20 years, has been focused largely on his namesake project, the Robert Foley Vineyards. What sets him apart from the other winemakers? Sure, so I think uh, one of the things that sets him apart is just the fact that he has been able to learn under so many seminal figures, mm -hmm. uh, you know, coming up uh, through the 70s and 80s. Uh, but then also, in addition to making, you know, the staples that we always associate with Napa Valley, Cabernet, Chardonnay, etc., he's really had a hand in preserving uh, some more kind of heritage varieties and breeds out there as well. So, uh, for example, in the red blend that people will be able to try, um, that has a grape called Charbono in it, which has maybe 110 acres left planted in California. Wow. Yeah. Um, so yeah, he's, he's sort of all at once, you know, relevant with, you know, what's very current uh, and trendy in Napa, but, you know, has a, a big hand in preserving the, uh, the grapes that uh, make up a, a, the important past. Well, you know what I love about this whole thing is I've only been to one event where, you know, I've actually eaten food and tasted the wine at the same yeah. time and learned mm -hmm. a little bit about it. It was super expensive. Um, and for a lot of people, you know, that's what they think. Oh, something like this, a wine pairing yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. Sure. And, uh, there's, it's going to be way above my budget. But you guys have made it pretty simple and, and in, my, in my opinion, somewhat inexpensive. It, it, it really is seventy-five dollars uh, for four courses of food and seven different wines. The seven that you see arrayed here before us mm -hmm. uh, will be the ones that are paired with those four That's courses. Food and wine, and in, an expensive wine. Now, this wine retails for almost one hundred and fifty dollars. Just one of them. Is That's going to be able to taste that. Exactly. So, I mean, just to put that in perspective, a wine like that, if it were poured by the glass in a restaurant, would be a probably a sixty-dollar glass of wine. Really. Uh, so it, it really is just an outsized value. And um, another thing I like to emphasize to people is that our chef, when he crafts these dishes for the wine dinner, this isn't just kind of like some slightly retooled versions of our normal menu staples. These are, you know, one of a kind dishes. One of the reasons we don't have any wow. food in front of us this morning is that um, Chef very often gets these ingredients in fresh the day of the event. Oh so slim margins for error, but extremely, <laughs> extremely fresh and extremely creative cuisine. So we're, we're super excited. Yeah. yeah, all right, so uh, December 10th and 11th from 7 to 9, people can find you on 631 South Main Street, right? That is correct, and tickets can be purchased just directly from our website. Just go to foxcroftwine.com, and from the landing page, it'll be extremely simple and obvious as to how you navigate to buying the tickets. Well, I, you know, I wish you all the success in the world, and please bring this back uh, for after Christmas, because yeah. this <laughs> might not be a bad Christmas gift, actually, oh, right? Yeah. Something like these, this. These mm -hmm. would make great gifts, mm -hmm. yeah, no, they're mm -hmm. all available in the retail shop as well. Yeah. All right. I want more of these wine pairing events. All right. Well, we do <laughs> them every month. It sounds great. Yeah, because so. I need to go to one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Thank you all so much. All right. We'll be back with more Carolina Morning right after this.